What's going on, Sartorialist? Welcome back to the Holsey Style. If you are new here, my name is Barry Ramirez. Welcome to the channel and thank you sincerely for watching. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing a garment from a company that I've wanted to purchase something from for a very long time. I'm talking about the Arthur Jeans from Berg and Berg. I'm gonna be talking to you guys about my experience with them, talking about some of the things I really loved about them, but also some of the things that I did not like about them so that you can make the most informed choice for yourself whether you want to pick up your own pair of Arthur jeans from Berg and & Berg. And with that said, let's get into it. Berg & Berg is a Swedish menswear company that I've been eyeing for a very long time. They have what I would describe as a modest collection of garments, from casual everyday items like shirts, socks, and dad caps, to more formal items like high-rise trousers, sport coats, and ties. But the item I found most alluring in Berg & Berg's collection is their Arthur jeans. And this is because of the rise and fit of the jeans but most especially the rise. Most menswear companies, if they offer jeans at all, and most don't, typically offer jeans that have a rise that is somewhere between low to mid. And yes, even our beloved Spear and McKay. And honestly, that never was going to work for me. Now I could get into all the technical reasons, high rise jeans are more proportional, blah, blah, blah. We're not here for that today. All you need to know is that Berg & Berg is one of the few menswear companies that actually does offer high rise jeans. The problem is, is that it comes at a hefty, hefty price. Berg & Berg's Arthur jeans are ordinarily priced at 285 euros, which converts to about $301.62. Emotional damage! Now, before I actually wore these Arthur jeans, I likely would have said something like, I'll never pay $300 for a pair of jeans. And that would have been true then. But luckily for me, I purchased Bergen Berg's Arthur jeans during an end of the season sell for half off. I selected their dark gray denim, which in person honestly looks black. But I selected this color largely because I wanted that 90s Jerry Seinfeld at the airport look. You know the one. Wait up! See, never be late for a plane with a girl. Because a girl runs like a girl with the little steps and the arms flailing at But I ordered their size 34 by 34, and the total shipping included was about 142 euros, which converts to about $150. And the package arrived in about three days. But let's home in on some of the features of these Arthur jeans. They are made out of 13 ounce selvedge denim, which is a low medium weight. They have five pockets, rivets and belt loops. They also have a button fly with a high rise. They have no contrast stitching and a plain bottom hem. Now what I love most about Berg & Berg's Arthur jeans is the size and fit. It's truly incredible. Although the jeans look very slim in their photographs on their website, I would describe them as having a straight leg and being very roomy. These jeans are very comfortable. There's no tightness on the thigh or on the shin. And most importantly for me, there was no tightness on the waist, which is another thing that I just really love about these Arthur jeans. They have a very high rise. Most high rise jeans or trousers, when they're described as such, what that usually means is they sit at your belly button. But these Arthur jeans sit, I would say, about an inch above your belly button. So I would say they have a very, very high rise. And to be honest, this rise, well, it got me fucked up. After wearing them out a handful of times and just loving how comfortable they were, I actually tried on all my other pairs of jeans and all my other pairs of high rise trousers. And to be honest, almost all of them seem inadequate now. And it almost feels like I have to get rid of them. I'm not going to do that, but that's what I mean when I say that this high, high rise simply got me fucked up. But as a word of caution, if you do want to purchase Berg & Berg's Arthur jeans, make sure you pay close attention to their size guide. Berg & Berg's Arthur jeans do not fit true to measure. 
So for example, in my case, I purchased size 34 by 34, which has a waist of 35 and a half inches or thereabout. Now this was ideal for me. I made sure to pay close attention to that guide before I spent a lot of money on a pair of jeans. But if you are somebody who is used to purchasing trousers or jeans that fit true to measure, you may have to consider going down a size so that they fit properly. Also, although the Arthur jeans are ready to wear, you likely will have to have the inseam adjusted unless, of course, you have an inseam in their prescribed sizes. So for size 34 on the waist, the only inseam size that they have is a size 34, and my inseam is somewhere between 28 and a quarter and 30 inches, depending on how it is that I want to wear my jeans or trousers. So in this case, I had to take them to the tailor and have them brought up about four inches so that the jeans just sit very lightly on the top of my shoes with almost, almost no break. Now, as far as the wearing goes, there's really only one feature of these Arthur jeans that I dislike, and that is the button fly. Now, I guess I get it. You're trying to do something that is more classical by having the button fly, but honestly, it's just extremely inconvenient when you're trying to take a piss. It reminds me of that meme on the classic menswear troll page on Instagram that says, Gurkhas are all fun and games until you have to pee. As far as the weight goes, these jeans are once again, 13 ounce selvedge denim, which means that they are a low medium weight. They aren't too heavy, but they also aren't too light. Bergenberg's website describes these jeans as suitable for all year wear. And while I haven't worn them in every season, I would say that that's likely true. I've worn them out on late spring and summer nights in temperature ranging from the low 80s to the low 100s and didn't have too much issue overheating. On those occasions, I was usually wearing them with a knitted polo. Now, once again, I haven't worn them during the colder seasons, but just judging from the heft, I think that they are going to be sufficiently warm during those colder months. Although I purchased Bergenberg's Arthur jeans during an end of season sale for $150, I can say now, honestly and confidently after many, many wearings, that I would pay full price for them. I would pay $300 for another pair of of Arthur jeans. And in fact, I intend to do so. Now I know some of you may be sitting on the fence saying, wow, $300, that's a lot for a pair of jeans. And I agree with you, but you have to think of it as an investment. A good pair of jeans will last you anywhere from 10 to 20 years if you take good care of them. And honestly, you're not gonna find another classic menswear company that offers jeans with such classic features as a very high rise with a straight leg that are as roomy and comfortable as Bergenberg's Arthur jeans. I highly, highly, highly recommend them to you guys. And with that said, if you enjoyed this content, hit that like button, smash subscribe, Hit the notification bell so you can be informed when I drop more videos on the Holsey style. Until next time, guys.